I was accused of insulting the president, insulting Islam, uh, spreading false rumors. Uh, uh, later, under the current regime, I was insulted of, uh, I, I was uh, um, accused of uh, insulting the army, being a secret operative. But the craziest accusation I ever had was that they accused me of being recruited by the CIA through John Stewart. <laughs> Bessem Youssef describing the accusations against him in his native Egypt for his satirical show. Somewhat ironically, though, Bessem is known as the John Stewart of Egypt. And he joins me now here in studio ahead of his upcoming shows at the San Jose Improv this weekend. Bessem, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. As we, we briefly mentioned, you've had an incredible career. You started out as a heart surgeon. You left your career as a heart surgeon in Cairo to become one of the nation's largest political satirists. Uh, we're talking about tens of millions of people tuning in to watch each every, uh, each episode. What was that like in that decision process? Uh, it was overwhelming. Uh, first of all, to, uh, like I was like in a, in, a thea in, in a theater as like in a surgical theater. Now I have to <laughs> deal with that in a, in, in a real theater. And uh, I was not trained to be a comedian or to train or a performer. And suddenly I found myself in the middle of all of this. And I think the people needed someone to speak truth to power, mm -hmm. make fun of authority, which is not very common in that, in that part of the world. And uh, you, you, you paid the price. You, you, you kind of like paid dear for that. And uh, I found myself like, it's kind of like uh, a lot of people watch it, millions of people, as you right. said. Yeah. Half of them hate watching it because they didn't approve <laughs> the message, so, which, which is great because it pumped the rating. And uh, the, the, uh, a lot of people would agree with you, but wouldn't agree with the fact that you make fun mm -hmm. or you're, uh, you're, you're sarcastic about the, the authority because in that part of the world, that is uh, synonymous with uh, losing respect. And some of those people unhappy are including the dictators in Egypt who eventually exiled you. I mean, what was that experience like? It's not like? about exile. I kind of escaped. So it was not okay. like kind of like a, it was not a decision <laughs> that they made. It's a decision. You made the decision. I made you the decision. You didn't kick me out. Uh, I'm kicking myself out. <laughs> yeah, because, because you know that they will be coming uh, for you. And this is what I, I speak about in my shows. And like now, we, it, and it's, this is kind of like another shift for me yeah because I used to do I mean I used to do a, be a heart surgeon then I then I became a comedian now I'm I'm trying to do comedy in a language that that, that I your that's, second language my second language yes. as, as in English and that is again uh, a, 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 another shift because a whole new set of challenges you, you right? have to rewire your brain you have to yeah. understand how the the, the 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 structure of the joke the the the, the timing the, the the pacing everything changes so I've been touring around the country doing this one-man show it follows my journey uh, in there, how did I shift from a doctor? And that's an interesting story, by the way, for a <laughs> comedian. And what did I face there? And then also follows my journey here as an immigrant mm -hmm. in, in a very interesting time in yeah. America right now. And, 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 and making fun of what I have seen here as first hand. So a lot of people, when they tell you, like, I'm a, an, an, an Arab-American comedian, I just came from there. These people were born here, so they always have an American point of view. Yeah. So it, it is. I think it's interesting to find like a, a point of view from someone who just like literally fresh off the boat. So yeah, it couldn't be more timely. Talk to us about what free speech means to you. Uh, free speech. You, you can you can speak volumes about speak, uh, free speech, but at the end of the day, free speech leads to one of the most important pillars of democracy, which is holding authority accountable. Because if you don't speak up. Authority can get away with anything. Basically, tyrants can get away with their tyranny. So you are keeping them in check. Mm. When you, it's it's not about like expressing yourself. It is protecting uh, yourself as a minority, as a, as a majority, as a human. Right. You're protecting your rights. When you speak up, you're speaking about what bothers you, what should be better, and and this is why authoritarian leaders are are, are afraid of that. They 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 don't want they, they call it actually noise. That's mm -hmm. why people who are used to dictatorships like our oh, freedom, that's just, that's just noise. It's noise. That yeah. we don't want noise. So they, they, they play on that narrative. All right. Well, Bassem Youssef, we appreciate you coming in today. He's going to be at the San Jose Improv this weekend. You've also released Come. a highly regarded documentary, Tickling Giants. You can find that online as well. Look forward to hearing you this weekend. Thank you so much. And hopefully talk Come along. Come along. All beautiful people of. <laughs> of, of this channel. Everybody looks amazingly beautifully. Yeah. Maybe we won't. Yeah, we'll it, it, we'll take you up on it, that. It is not makeup, guys, and it's not CGI. They, they genuinely look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. We need him in studio every day, right, Mark? <laughs>